William, a uh, bit of a shocker, this one. Yes, um, especially coming after the resignations of both uh, Neil Parrish um, and Imran Ahmed Khan um, for um, various allegations. So um, the watching of pornography in the House of Commons in the case of Parrish and then um, historic sexual offences in the case of um, Khan. This is just another blow, I think, um, in the uh, credibility of the Tory party as a party which, um, well, frankly, is not dodgy. Um, and I think we're starting to get to the stage now, both in terms of the government's uh, longevity, uh, but also of the various series of um, terrible headlines that it's having to do with its own MPs, of somewhere similar to the major governments in the mid 90s. Uh, we've not yet got to the stage of autoerotic asphyxiation, um, but certainly this is a terrible headline for the Tory party and incredibly well, embarrassing. Th th this man obviously hasn't been named um, yet uh, to protect uh, alleged victims, but. Um his name must be known and uh, it won't be long now. I mean, you can't ask him to stay away from Parliament without it raising eyebrows and people beginning to think who, who it is. Yeah, although there were new laws, I believe, and you'll be able to tell us more uh, about this, William, brought in uh, earlier this year to really make sure that the anonymity of um, sex offenders who, who are facing this sort of thing don't get named until they are charged. So that's why the whip's been unable to remove the whip in this case or suspend it. And he's just been told to stay away from Parliament, but raises lots of difficult questions that doesn't it well a lot of very difficult questions because of course yeah. um we know that they're a tory mp in their 50s and now i imagine um, male tory mp sorry in their 50s um and whilst there are quite a few male tory mps um in their 50s if one was suddenly to have the whip taken away from them or if one persistently doesn't turn up to parliament it becomes very easy to work out who is the mp um involved yes there are various names sort of swirling um and I imagine it won't be long, you know, despite the police's best efforts until um, we know exactly um, who it is involved.